G'day everybody and welcome to another Chronicle Chamber uh, video. Okay, today we are going to do board games. As you can see, I have a few here, but I actually do not have all of them yet. So I am missing three. Uh, first of all, we'll go with the ones that I'm missing. So uh, one of them is the Finland version of this, uh, the Indian version of this, and then there is also a 1950s Swedish one as well, which I don't have. Okay, so there are also other board games which are loosely board games in the sense they are a poster and they have little bits you can kind of cut out and stuff like that. So uh, in a couple of the UK annuals, um, there's also a, a poster in a Denmark comic from around the 80s. Um, I've not included those in this review. I am just focusing on actual board games that kind of come in sets. Okay, so first of all, we've got this little beauty here, which I'm sure everyone knows and recognizes. This is the one from the uh, from Dietmar and Peter, which is um, from the, uh, the, the art expedition. Okay, so then we'll go into this one, which is a USA one. Uh, you've got the board game here. There's three games. It's a very generic one. As you can see, there's hardly any phantom actually on the game. Uh, the only one is actually in this one here where you've got this here. So you've got this game here, the elephant hunt around the back, and then you've around the edges, sorry, and then you've got the one on the back. This is the box. Uh, you do get a couple of, again, generic pieces I'm actually missing one on this one so it's kind of got the phantom on the cover but I wouldn't really call it a phantom game if you know what I mean okay so then we'll go into this one this one is from the UK uh, this is actually sealed so I've not opened it and I will not be opening it for this video unfortunately but as you can see in the back it has got defenders of the earth pieces and stuff that you can kind of cut out and as you can see here it says there's five games and then there's pieces and stuff and playing instructions as well okay then we'll move on to this one now this one as you can see very very similar the only difference is phantom met and then phantom met so this is swedish norway and then as i said there is a finland version uh, of this as well Okay, I do not have that one at the moment, but it's very, very similar. You've got this beautiful uh, map here, and then you've got all your pieces and stuff, which you can kind of see in there. Now, I do not actually know how to play this game. Um, I have been told by some friends that it's actually very, very hard to understand and to play, and even they do not really understand it. So, for an English speaker, it's just, a, you know, I don't expect to play it, and to be able to understand it and it's really just probably going to be a conversation piece okay so there's moving over to here which is an italian one this is a 2040 one again it's sealed i'm not going to open it if i ever find another one which of these are quite hard to get a hold of um i might open it but yeah not not for this piece not for this video okay so then we've got this one here this is another american one uh beautiful painted cover now there is supposedly an indian version of this which is exactly the same but it's um right the cover's a little bit different uh i will be including uh stills throughout the video of this one which you'll probably be looking at right now um so this is the board game very basic nothing on the back uh it's got the pieces Again, to be honest, I wouldn't really have a clue on how to play this. Um, now, this one came with a ring, different color versions. This is a yellow one. Apparently, one of the harder find one is actually the pink one because most people didn't want pink because it was mainly towards boys, and so they always got rid of it and then went for another one. It also came with a piece of clay, which I think. Yeah, I'm not really sure what, you, what the clay was. I think it was more to do with the scale ring where you can kind of make marks and stuff like that. Um, if you can find one with the um, 
uh, clay and the ring and stuff like that, you're probably looking at around 200 bucks. All right, so that's that one. And then the last two are these ones here. So these are Spanish, Defenders of the Earth, and they're actually the same game, but you've got the, the standard, and then you've got the deluxe. So you can see the difference in the pieces. Everything's exactly the same, pretty much, except the size of the box. Uh, and then I think the way the board game operates. So this, op so for instance, this folds out into four. So as you can kind of see between the two, exactly the same. The other difference is, is the playing pieces and the deluxe one uses little figurines. So that's the Phantom, uh, Flash, and then there's Big Ming, which goes into here and stuff like that as well. So the pieces, as you can see, this one has not been cut out, but it's kind of what the pieces look like. And then this is the standard, and then you've just got the normal pieces, which you kind of put these, the cards, into there. All right, guys, so that is all of the known board games that I know of, minus the three that I do not have. Um, which we will see the images. The ones that I don't have again, you've got the Finland version of this, you've got a, a, a 1950s Swedish version, and then you've got the Indian version of that, which leaves a little bit more research. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy that. I hope you find it fascinating. Uh, any questions, feel free to contact us. Bye.